What's good people? Today's the kid coming at you with a brand new tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, you subscribe. All right, let's continue. Um, Today we're coming with a brand new tutorial. This one's UK Drill. As you all know, UK Drill is definitely having its peak time right now. It's doing very well. It's a sound that a lot of people in the UK are using. What is ultimately the elements of drill? Is it the 808s? Is it the snares? Is it the pianos? Is it the samples? The answer is all of the above. You have people using a lot of guitar, doing a lot of guitar drill. Also people cutting and chopping samples to basically create R and drill and you've also got the more classic sort of deep low piano type drill all around 140 to 145 bpm is roughly the tempos that you want to be thinking about when building UK drill now today I'm going to go into like a UK drill cook up show you some of my techniques by no means am I saying these techniques are the industry standard these are just some techniques that have worked well for me and yeah let's get into the tutorial all right guys, so look, we're starting a brand new project now. Um, with drill, I usually go for a tempo of around 140 to 145. So let's take the average, which is about 143. I'm gonna go in with a piano, go for flex, flex comes free. I can type my stock gang, and we're gonna choose this Steenway or the Steinway D. And then it's just about creating a melody. So melody wise, I always try and just go for like something to accompany the bottom notes. Okay, I like this. All right. Now one thing I do quite a lot is I change the key of my melody. So once you've done that now, you wanna like process it a little bit. So the first thing I would do is, is I'd highly recommend this VST called Halftime by Cable Guys. It's just a really good, it's just, it's just a really good VST because it basically takes everything that you've like essentially programmed from a MIDI perspective and it slices it in half. add some EQ so what I typically do is is um, and depending on what you have is I take out some of the low end so I usually take it here I might change the key again I'm gonna do this a lot sorry guys chop a sample in here so what I'm gonna do is use Fruity Slicer. Where are we? I don't even know where my things are. All right, Fruity Slicer. So UK drums, and I'm gonna say, slap this in here now. Put some vocal processing on this. This is my own special day source. Um, so I will do a separate tutorial where I like let you guys know what what my special source is. Yeah, I like that. Bit source as well, UK drill source, is putting on a radio effect. And we're gonna find a nice hi hat that we like. By the way, this is a Carl Beats hi hat. It's from the Andromeda Andromeda kit. It's nice. It's clean. And yes, yeah, kind of this pattern. Some source if you want to quickly improve your workflow. If you see your hi hat pattern here, you can just highlight it and then press Control B and then it just basically copies it across the whole thing. Okay. All right, cool. 
kind of got it how just so that you can guys see that again alt r and you can see that you get this really interesting thing where you can start to see okay do i want to change the pan do i want so that my hi-hats kind of go left, right, left, left, right. Or do I want to change the velocity a bit? Go back to the old one. Right, cool, so once we got that then, this is how it sounds so far. Go for a snare. Now, I think one trend in drill music right now is snares that are kind of like um, quite choppy. And that's been used a lot. So again, this I like this snare. All right, so next component here that I'd say is quite important with drill music is the 808. Right. I would choose an 808 that has quite a long like waveform. Try and avoid 808s that have like a kick as part of them. This is what I'd say. So you've got an 808 here and what you effectively want to do is you want to create an envelope. So you want to switch everything off apart from hold. Now I usually go for hold being under the letter E and that's what I'd aim for. Round about there. Notes. And then, so after you've got that drawn out note there, start sliding. So sliding basically involves using this guy here and you click on this little triangle and it basically means that you'll now see that your note has this little triangle at the end of it. And you effectively use that and it then basically slides from this note like down this way. So you go. And then I'd almost like make something crazy happen. That sounds. Now I take that down because the high pitch also sometimes is high volume. We're getting there. It's slowly coming together. This is what it sounds like so far. Right, now what I'll do is just sla slap in some kicks. So what I'd say with the kick is, is I always think about the kicks in 808s as a package. Just have fun with it, like, there's no rules to get. I might change the tempo to make it a bit faster. All right, that's live. Um, now, one thing I sometimes do is I make my fourth snare like a bit, it's like basically a reverby snare. So, can you hear that? It sounds so when you hear it. Just I might add something in flex. Flex has some source. There's something called a life droplet, and this is like one of my favorite things in flex. So sometimes I add second set of hi-hats just to add it, just to give it a bit more drive. So. And so if I'm happy with that, as you guys know, highlight, 
control B. Once I'm happy with the majority of it, I then begin to split this into different patterns so that I can then begin to structure the beat. So be right back. One thing characteristic of drill beats is when they start, they often have a crash or a gunshot. in here so it goes like that that's typically how i do my intro to my thing What I'm going to do is, is also sometimes for variation, you should create like another 808 pattern. Might go for something like that. Just to keep it fresh. Sometimes adding a very gentle vocal sample at the bottom. So sometimes uh, scream. All right, so I do this and then I typically turn it off and then I see at what level I want it like I want it in kind of thing. That's how, and then that's how I typically um, and I'm gonna don't go crazy with sound effects guys but I'd say go semi crazy it is drill so sirens gunshots all of that good stuff people are packs <laughs> So yeah, that's basically it really. Just the key components here is making sure that you get the drums and the hi-hats the way you want them to. Making sure that you get all the little sound effects in like crashes, 
And yeah, just understanding that the kicks, the snares and the 808s interact in a way that means that you leave the hi-hats in the middle. And yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what genre you want me to do next and I will jump on it. All right, guys. Take care. See you next video.